What's poppin' guys, Gideon AOZ here, and it's time for a full review of the Modern Warfare 2 beta. Now, I do want to go ahead and preface this by saying that I did play both weekends, so I think I have a pretty good grasp on the gameplay mechanics and just the overall vibe of the game. So I went ahead and divided this into three sections, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Oh, the ugly. They really messed some things up this time around. But we'll get to that towards the end. Let's start with some positive things. Map design. So, map design this time around, I actually thoroughly, thoroughly love. They didn't pull the, the Modern Warfare 2019 route, where they kind of made everything, like, super easy to camp in. Yeah, there's some campy spots. Um, but overall, just the flow of the map is so much better. And it doesn't feel like they developed it by themselves. You know what I mean? Like, let's take a museum, for example. It feels like it was developed by Treyarch, not Infinity Ward. Farm 18, distinctly Infinity Ward. And then you have Mercado Las Almas, and that one kind of feels like they meshed the two together. And I think a lot of that has to do with the color palette of it. The color palette is closer to what I would put with Treyarch's design, but the design of the map itself is something that I would say would be developed by Infinity Ward. So the guns in this game, they sound phenomenal. And they feel so good and so satisfying when you actually hit those shots, especially that sniper. Oh, so good. Then we have dolphin diving and sliding in the same game with the same button press. All it takes is like a 0.3 or 0.4 second difference. You don't even notice it yourself. It feels so fluid. You do exactly what you want to do when you want to do it. Only issue is you can't shoot while you're sliding. But oh well. So then we also have the new equipment. New equipment actually looks super fun. There's a lot of items that you can have for your for your tactical upgrade. So the new ones that I really found thoroughly enjoyable were the drill charge. Now you actually use the drill charge more for flushing people out than you would actually killing campers. They're just going to see the notification and kind of run. You're not going to really ever get a kill from that unless you just catch somebody not paying attention, I guess. Uh, then you have the inflatable decoy. This is going to make for some very interesting and fun plays if you can just throw it down and get it at the right angle to just poke a gun out the corner and watch somebody try to pre-fire that corner. It's just it's going to be super fun. Uh, also, shock charges are back. Super happy about shock charges. I, I don't know what it is, just ever since BO3, I've loved shock charges, they just, I don't know man, it's it's fun, that's all I have to say about that. As for the new game modes, really the one that I'm excited for the most is Knockout. I actually think that this one should replace SND for at least one of the two years of Modern Warfare 2's CDL life cycle. It is, it's just so dynamic, like you have the SND play of the, oh I only have one life, but I can be revived, but there's an objective. And if, you know, we get down to like two people left and they have a full team, well, do we go after the objective or do we try to revive our team? Oh, look, we only have 30 seconds left. What do we do? It just, it seems like such a great, great team oriented game. And it's just going to be super fun. Now, Invasion was all right. We'll, we'll talk about Invasion later on. The last thing that I want to say actually fits in the really good pile is the hanging mechanic. Being able to pull out your pistol while you're on a wall or actually a ladder, completely game changing, especially the ladder portion. If you're climbing up a ladder to get up to where a camper's hiding in a spot or a sniper's up there, whatever, you have a way to guard yourself of them just looking straight down the ladder and barreling at you. And it it just makes that so much more balanced and so much more enjoyable to be able to push certain buildings. All right, time to start heading downhill. This is the bad section. Now, when I say bad, I don't mean egregious. These are probably just executed improperly. But let's go ahead and start off with one of the big ones. Whenever you first launch the game, the menus and the UI just, they seem like Microsoft acquisition hit them hard. They were like trying to announce to the world, yes, yes, Microsoft is buying us. Uh, we have to make our menus quickly look like the Xbox menus for the Series X. Like, I don't understand the purpose of it. They were just annoying, honestly. 
And then we have the gunsmith. The gunsmith idea is actually great, but I think it was way too cluttered. Like, I kept accidentally trying to equip a new weapon when I just wanted to change an attachment on a certain weapon because of the way it was like, hey, hit this command, then hit this command. No, wait, this command was actually supposed to be this one, and it's why make it so complicated? Just, I click on the weapon, let me change what's on the weapon. Don't go, hey, would you like to visit the armory for this weapon, or would you like to edit it? Because it'll end up opening, like, all the SMGs when you're just trying to change out something on your MP5 or whatever. Then we have the perk system. I'm not going to dwell on this one too long. We probably can, but I'm not going to. It was a good idea in theory. They're trying something new. They're trying not to re-release the same game. And we should really applaud them for that. But if you're going to change the game and you're going to change a core aspect of something that is... Well, foundational to your franchise, like perks are in Call of Duty. Don't wibble wobble back and forth between how you want to do it. So when they first implemented this perk system when the beta launched, you had to wait like eight minutes to get your perk four. Right? And they were like, oh, well, every kill you get is going to knock off five seconds. Hurrah! And then... Like, two days, two, three days before the beta ends, they're like, oh, yeah, no, we need to go ahead and adjust that. So now you can get it at four minutes. And every kill that you get knocks off, like, five or seven seconds or something like that. Either way, you get, you get them pretty fast, you know, towards the end of the beta. But it's just like, why? Like, four perks, fantastic. Ghost being, you know, on its own, last perk. If you're doing this whole earn system, I'm totally fine with a lot of people will complain about that, but hey, it is what it is. Four perks, great idea, poor execution. And then this one really actually isn't bad. So this one is more in the bad section because of what it is, but not how often it happens. There was only one map exploit that I saw used on all six maps for both weekends, and it was probably only used like four times, and only in the knockout game mode and that was on Mercado so there was just a place where you could just glitch yourself into the wall that was it I don't know if they patched it like midway through week two or something but I haven't seen anybody else do it it was just like four or five games no biggie I mean only one out of map glitch out of six maps that you gave us in the beta I actually think that's pretty good and then the last bad thing that I really have to talk about is you not liking this video or leaving a subscription? I mean, you've been here this long. Why not go ahead and do it? Okay, that was that was pretty bad. Sorry about that. Let's move on to the next one. Now, what you've all been waiting for, the part of the beta that makes it completely unplayable. I mean, the egregious part. I mean, the, the ugly part of the game. Let's start with the obvious one, the sound. The footsteps are astronomical. I shouldn't be able to hear you from, you know, 80, 90 yards out when you're just walking let alone even you know a little bit closer than that maybe 40 yards out whenever you're crouch walking uh it's just it's it's ridiculous okay that's what it is all right then you have dead silence it, it's not a perk i guess we can kind of get over that whatever if you don't make us earn tune up if you go you know like we said earlier and just give us all four parks at the beginning instead of making us wait throughout the match whatever yada yada but there's an activation sound? That makes no sense. You you have the timer to be able to actually use dead silence. Then it makes a noise for everybody within like a 20 meter radius to hear. And on top of that, it doesn't make you totally silent. You can still be heard by somebody who's just sitting in a corner. If they're sitting there and you're walking by, especially on farm 18, they know you're coming. And I just, I don't understand why they're doing this. You know, and then you have the mini-map, okay? There's no red dots on the mini-map, unless you have a UAV up. What's, what's the point of having the map, then? Oh, I, I didn't know the layout. I can't see that there's a door to my left. How, however, was I supposed to know that? No, it, it's, it's completely inconceivable that you're not going to tell me more accurately than my ears could pick up where a weapon was fired 
I, I don't understand that. Like, I can hear that a weapon was fired in this general vicinity, but guess what? Those things are loud. I don't know which corner of the room it was fired from. And we have no indication of enemies. This has gotten me killed like seven or eight times. Not because I didn't see the enemy or whatever. That's not what I'm talking about. That's happened a little bit more than that, probably. But because your friendly name tags show through walls. And sometimes they just happen to line up just above the head of an enemy. And you're not thinking, huh, that name tag's a little bit smaller, just a little bit. They want to be further away. No, it's an enemy. Just, you're dead now. Congrats, because he didn't have the same problem on his end. Just, I don't know why they're, they're going to do that. If you're going to give us no enemy name tags, then you have to take away floating friendly name tags unless they are directly in your sight if they are behind a wall you should not see your friendly name tags that is reserved for the minimap okay minimap awareness is a thing yes i know i just kind of crapped all over the minimap a second ago but that's another use case for it know where your team is at all times i just i don't i don't know why just why not give us some kind of indication or differentiate them just a little bit so the reason why I say that these are egregious is because with these few things, yes, there's just a few things that are completely egregious about this game that make it unplayable, and these happen to be it, is because they kill the rusher playstyle. They completely make it in favor of the campers. I'm sorry, the Sentinels. Ooh, they got a new fancy name. Congratulations. And don't like people flanking anything they're like you should be punished for moving more than five feet out of your spawn and just chunking a nade and hoping you get a kill like that that's what they want i guess i i don't know how are we supposed to go and and flank around you know the spawn or whatever to flip spawns if they have the advantageous side if they're gonna hear us coming from any angle that we come from just doesn't make any sense but anyways, that's my complete review of the game overall. I think it was actually pretty good for what it is. If they fix the sound issues and if they fix the way that Dead Silence works, remove the audio cue and make it completely silent and give us the tune-up perk as a perk, you know, one or whatever, if they're going to keep the whole time slot activation thing, then I think that the game would become playable and it would be pretty fun actually with with the way these maps look so far the way the guns feel sound is the issue that is holding this game back and i, I know they're going to fix it they're going to fix it eventually they always do right i just don't want it to take six plus months into the game's life cycle when all the hardcore fans that really wanted to play this game just stopped thank you for watching this has been gideon drop me a comment if you want to see something else and i'll see you when modern warfare 2 comes out peace out